As our lives become more digital, the information we enter into our devices and the services that run on them is increasingly valuable to hackers. Securing those details is vital, but in the Internet of Things era, the real question is how can security work across all the many types and brands of devices that we own? This is called scalability, and new technologies are emerging to deliver it. To discuss this, we're joined in the studio by Ben Cade, Chief Executive of the technology company Trustonic. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Ben, welcome to the Business Debate. And first of all, congratulations on winning the Security Solution of the Year at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Thanks very much, and it's great to be here. Now, if we think about, do we need uh, another security solution? We already mm -hmm. have passwords of our mother's maiden name and malware and antivirus. Do we need something new? Well, absolutely. The problem today is we're bolting on security to try and deliver an experience to our customers, whether it's banking or healthcare or work and enterprise. And all of that adds barriers. Uh, and it makes the general experience clunky and slow. And at the end of it, you don't really get all of the services you want it to. Uh, but the fundamental problem, the reason for that is you have uh, software security solutions that are trying to protect your software, your assets, your data, your customers' data from software threats like viruses and malware and Trojan horses. So it's a losing battle and the bad guys are winning. And what's the industry doing to try and improve security? Okay, so the industry is kind of bifurcated into two parts. The device ecosystem, so those people are building those smartphones that you, you run these apps on, and those people are building applications. So in the first part, it's about the device ecosystem building in hardware security to actually nullify this threat from software threats, you know, viruses and so forth. And on the other side, it's actually educating the app ecosystem to say, hey, there is this technology in the devices, now use it to improve your experience, make it more secure, but more than anything, deliver a better experience. Now, a scalable solution is one that works across all different brands of devices. And why has it taken the industry so long to develop that? The challenge is for the device ecosystem, it's fiercely competitive and they will deliver a, a great solution for what the end person, us in the street, uh, wants. But if we don't know that better experiences exist because of this security, we're not going to demand that from you know, our bank or our email provider, etc. And so you have this uh, chicken and egg issue. Uh, and that's been the challenge, is how do you actually get the device ecosystem to adopt all of this technology en masse? And the second side, how do you get application developers to actually make use of it? And one won't move without the other. Now, you're not a startup, are you? You're actually a spin-off of the huge multinational semiconductor company, Arm. How has that helped you? Well, it helps a lot because Arm is you know, omnipresent, if you like, in the mobile ecosystem, and therefore, uh, we've managed to do, you know, in three years since we formed, uh, what may take other companies maybe six or ten years to achieve. And so today we have ten of the twelve leading device makers shipping with the right technology, uh, and that gives you that critical mass that service providers can start to use. And in the Internet of Things, we have all sorts of devices which can connect and communicate. Does that require the same kind of security as mobile? That's an interesting question. Uh, fundamentally, IoT actually probably needs more security because it's not just information security, your new credit card details or your work email that's, that's at risk. It's your physical security, it's your well-being, uh, and those things need to be catered for, I think. And the, with the Internet of Things, is still quite a new market, isn't it? How can you be sure that your solution is right for your customers? It's very difficult because you're trying to predict the future. Uh, what we do know is that every IoT device effectively needs three things. It needs the, the performance, the capability to, to perform the task it's been given. It needs the connectivity to interact with its surroundings and, of course, back to the cloud. And thirdly, it needs the security present to actually protect that use case against the threats that, uh, that are exposed to it. Uh, so in that context, you know, every IoT device will need some flavor of those three. Uh, but it will depend on the exact device. And so that's what we look to do is provide a platform that uh, the device maker can customize to their needs and the people that are building services to run on those devices uh, can protect their assets. Now, are you the only people offering this built-in security and what's the reaction been? Well, fundamentally, yes, we are the only company delivering hardware security in all of these devices. But the, particularly when it comes to opening that out for third parties to develop apps on. Uh, but we also compete in a wide marketplace where you have uh, software security solutions. And that's why we launched hybrid protection, which basically means uh, you can develop your application once, 
and you'll get across you know, 60, 70% of devices with the right hardware security today. And for everywhere else, we will protect you in software. Uh, and of course, over time, that means that that 60% goes to 70%, goes to 80%, goes to 90%. And so people have that relaxation, if you like, that safe feeling that their apps are properly protected. All right. Well, Ben Cade from Trustonic, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.